hate you guys. You guys are assholes. It'd be rude not to eat her pie, which I assume is not only hot, but also moist. Although, hopefully not flaky. All right, so found this clip. I've made videos about this in the past of being a, call it, in the, in the scope of society, the government institutional crap and bias in society nowadays, being a straight white man in today's society. And then you can level up from there, you know, like being a guy, being in law enforcement, being anything, you know, that you're, you're seen as a threat. You are despised by so many different aspects, you know, call it, you say racially, ethnically, you know, um, that white men, straight white men <laughs> in society nowadays are seen as a threat. We are the number one threat to democracy and, you know, everything, whatever. Uh, you know the drill. You've seen this crap. Even Biden got up and said it, that white supremacy but then what is the scope of white supremacy you know okay i got this video today though it's in columbus ohio a woman gets pulled over by a cop because she was texting and driving and then she tries to throw the victim card because you're a man and it scares this crap out of me oh my god we'll get into the video but it's just the thing of i've said it before that society you could even say institutionally, you know, in the government, schools, many jobs, corporations, all this stuff, they're doing all this diversity crap and uh, equity hiring um, that white men are to be driven out. They are not offered the jobs first, even through merit, meritocracy, if they're the most qualified people for the job, they have the most experience, they've been at it for years and all this kind of stuff that they should not get the job because they are white men. This one just, again, you want to see the example, this chick pulls the card. Now, what had this been a female woman of color that was a cop? Okay, I got to use the proper terminology here, you know, a woman of color, a black woman that was a police officer that would this chick pulled the same card you know, that oh, I feel so threatened by you. Oh, my God. So let's get into this real quick, though. I, and here's the thing, like, talking, if you're a straight white dude and you got to deal with this crap on a daily basis, especially in these cities around the country and states, you know, you call it on the coastal regions that have the most of this going on, it seems like. This is in Columbus, Ohio, and you're going to run into them anywhere. But, like, this guy being a cop, in Columbus, Ohio, and he has to put up with this and probably get a case put against him for harassment because I'm a woman, you know, he harassed me and me, I feel so threatened. Guy did nothing wrong. Now, I'm not always a fan of the cops either being, you know, that I've been a truck driver and I've seen cops do crooked shit to me over the years, okay? There are some nasty cops out there and even just being a truck driver, you become a target because you're a cash cow with the DOT and stuff like that. Let's just call it what it is. Call a spade a spade that they know they can get money out of you and they know they can write you tickets and do all this kind of stuff, even though you weren't doing anything wrong. But so I see that part of it. This one, on the other hand, is like if I was this guy, I would be applying for a county sheriff position in a rural county in Nebraska. I would lateral out of Columbus, Ohio, and be sitting in whatever county with no interstate running through it in Nebraska and just take a sheriff county position where there's nothing going on. There's like 10,000 people in the whole county or something like that. I never got to deal with this again. I'm good. You know what I mean? Instead of dealing with this crap. You know what? If this is what, like this broad acting like this, and then so many other people in our society nowadays that we're the threat, we're the evil presence in society. Okay. It's an effort to drive us out, and I've said it before. You don't need to drive me out. I can drive. I'll just leave. You guys can have it. And when we all leave, all the dudes leave, 
and all of a sudden you don't have any more cops, you don't have any more plumbers, you don't have any more electricians, you don't have any more, say, truck drivers in your area. You don't have any of these things because guess what? We comprise like most of the population too. I mean, in America, white people comprise like 65% of the population. If you take half of that away and white men, they shave off a little bit for the gay dudes and all that kind of stuff that would stay because, oh, I'm part of this side. But all the straight white dudes that are cops, firemen, skilled labor, trash men, everything. Take us all out of the picture. Okay, now you got your utopia. Now you got what you want that you don't have this white guy that's a threat to you anymore or anything like that. There you go. You get what you paid for. You get what you voted for. Here's what you get. You know, if I was this cop, I'd be like, okay, I'm putting in for a transfer tomorrow to Kansas. And not Wichita and not Kansas City. No, I'm talking, I'm going to straight western Kansas, some rural county, and I'll disappear out into the mist and I won't bother you anymore. And when you have no more cops and people are just carjacking you, oh, but he was such a threat. Oh, but who's the first guy you're going to be calling when you got a problem, when somebody's carjacking you and shit? All right, sorry. We've gone on with this for like six minutes, me rambling. Okay. Take a look. And boom. Were you able to locate your uh, insurance card? Uh, my husband has sent it to me. Uh, may I ask what else you're calling me up for? Um, nothing, ma'am. Okay, so then am I getting a citation? Yes, ma'am. Um, under Ohio State law, you can only call me over for texting if there is another offense and give me a ticket. Well, I've done this 20 years, and you're wrong. Um, in I the just, city. I just Except for the city of you need to look up the city of Columbus, ma'am. This is the code I'm going to actually give you. It's 2131.44B. Okay. I'm actually going to give you a copy of the law today. Great. It is primary offense. Just so you know, also, walking up to a woman's car, you should have pulled me over. You're lucky I didn't have my pepper spray on me. You're lucky I didn't have my pepper spray on me. Well... Guess what? I got my gun on me and it had you pepper sprayed me when I first walked up to you. That was assault with a potentially deadly weapon because when I approach a vehicle, I don't know who I'm going to contact. So <laughs> this chick trying to talk bold like he's a threat and I'm so scared. Uh, expecting him to just run away in fear like, oh my God, a woman's making an accusation against me. Oh my God, I better leave her alone. Nope. Like I said, tomorrow, I would be putting in for a lateral transfer to a rural county in another state at some sh county sheriff's department, like Longmire or something like that, out in Wyoming, going, yeah, I don't want to deal with these people anymore. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. I don't want to hear it. So, on with it. Scared the ever-living shit out well, of me would, as a you woman. Would not, if you weren't going through emails, Sir, you would probably be I'm more not, observant. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm telling you, as a woman... I'm actually shaking right now because you scared the ever living shit out of me. Well, I've made over I, 7,000 traffic sir, stops and I've never that, been pepper sprayed. But you, so. I understand that, sir, but I'm telling you, as a woman, mm -hmm. you made me feel unsafe. Okay, I'm a public safety official, ma'am. I understand ma that, sure. but I please listen. You make me feel unsafe, but once somebody's breaking into my house, I pray to God you show up. You know what I mean? You got a bunch of thugs breaking into your house, going to home invasion you and put a gun in your face and stuff. But this is the guy, I guarantee, when you call 911, oh my God, I hope he shows up instead of a bunch of women. Like They're going to be, oh my God, what do we do? Oh, this guy's going to show up with his rifle or shotgun. He's going to go bust in and he's going to save your ass. So when he's giving you a ticket, he's a threat. And you scared the shit out of me. But guarantee you, if you needed him, you would be ecstatic as you're getting beat down on the ground, probably going to get violated and get all your stuff stole. That he showed up because he's going to straight karate chop everybody and take them out and save your life. But today he's a threat. But tomorrow I need you. Well, if he ain't there tomorrow, guess what? You get what you get. How about, you know, everybody's a threat. Oh my God, you're such a threat. I feel so scared. Me. 
Shut up. Goddamn broads. Morons. They're morons. I'm telling you right now. They live in such a protected society where their life is so easy that they don't know what it's like when the saber-toothed tiger comes out of the goddamn woodworks and wants to kill them and eat them that this is the guy back in the day in the Cro-Magnon days and stuff, Neanderthals, that came out with his spear and would fight off that tiger for you. Yet now he's a threat. Who built your car? Who built your house? Men. Who built your cell phone? Probably a lot of men. Who came up with all the uh, innovation to have all the things that you take for granted every day? Dudes. Just saying. To what I'm saying, because you're not listening, because you're seeing this through the eyes of me trying to get out of a ticket, which I'm not. Oh, you won't get I'm out of it, yeah. Sir, I can assure you. Absolutely trying to get out of a ticket by trying to perceive him as a threat that he's going to run away and go, I don't want a lawsuit. All it comes down to. 100%. 150%. You Sir, can I please finish my sentence? Go ahead. As a public employee, I am letting you know, as somebody who pays, who is a person who pays your salary, it's, sir, please. So she's claiming to be a public employee. What's that all about? She also works for the government, just like him, but she pays his paycheck. Well, he pays your paycheck as well because you're both siphoning off the taxpayer's teat. No, you guys work for me. I'm a civilian worker. I pay my taxes, but I don't reap the benefits of it except in public services like roads are built and all that kind of stuff. You guys get... Excellent benefits, county, city, or state, or even federal pensions, and all this kind of stuff paid for by tax dollars. I'm a public employee. I pay your paycheck. Well, I pay your paycheck as well, is what the cop should say. It's it's a draw, so take your ticket and, and shuffle. Screw bitch. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, you can stand women like this. No, I'm no longer going to listen to you. I'm, I'm no I'm longer going you. to listen to you. I'm going to give you your driver's license Thanks. back. What you are being cited no, with is te with is you texting while driving. Right. I gave you a copy of the law. You're going to have three Can options. Have your badge your first option, it's going to be right here, ma'am. It's K Connor badge 1300. It's at the bottom Can of I your citation. Your pen, no, ma'am. You will. You, all I have to do is provide it to you. It's on the bottom of your citation. Yeah. So citation you're going to have three separate stop. options. I won't give you your options then. I need your signature. Your signature is not an admission of guilt, but I need, do need your signature because it's an arrestable offense if you do not. I can't believe that you won't even listen. Now, as somebody. soon as you said, I pay your salary, then we're done. But, sir, we're I'm done. trying to tell you we are so done. that you can do your job better. I've done my job 20 have, years I, I'm protecting I the that. public from you reading your emails while you drive your car. Well, that drive hasn't safely existed now. for 20 years. Classic. He didn't even want to hear it. He was like, nope. Good. Bye. Classic. Love that. Never listen to a broad like that. Screw that, dude. So yeah. The, the obvious question has to be asked too. What would all these women do when they complain about men or the threat and all this kind of stuff? If we all just disappeared. I always... That's always a funny little question to me you know that what would you do tomorrow because you blew a 12 pound dump and you got to have your toilet snaked you know but there's no female plumbers it's like 98 percent of people are men that are plumbers 99 percent of coal miners are men something like 96 or 97 percent of men are truck drivers 90 you know electricians are like the 98 percentile are men cops are in the 90 percentile range i think across the country you have to double check me on that one back check me but most of these professions are meant and everybody's so threatened by them and oh we need to get rid of all the white men okay go ahead see how that benefits you you know because we're all so horrible and racist and all this kind of stuff like i don't side with cops all the time you know i'm a little bit of a jaded skeptic i've had my run-ins and stuff in the past too and i've seen some crooked stuff myself but most of the time now i i like cops 
they're just people too and they deal with their own degree of bs out here in the world and i wouldn't hold it against them like just like this dude had to put up with it. and i wouldn't be surprised if he actually had beef put against him by this broad filing a complaint and then the video has to come out and they have to review it and, you know it's like the amount of time that gets wasted by these people out here these broads and POCs, you know, you can say people of color and everything that make these accusations just because they even had a run in with a cop or a problem at work or something like that it was racial or it was sexist, it was harassment, and it had nothing to it. They're just trying to get a payday or trying to get out of evading responsibility for being assholes, is what it really comes down to. And that's what, you know, it's like, I can't do that. I can't claim harassment, I can't claim sexism. I, I, if anything, you're like, oh, you have all the privilege in this world. It's like, I can't even claim that stuff. I get laughed at. I don't have those rights. You do, but I don't. So it just rubs me wrong, and it's so stupid. And where I see society going and stuff like that, you know what? All of us, phone out, dude. Just go to the middle of the country, live in the countryside somewhere where you don't have to deal. Like I live in Texas in a smaller city, you know, in Lubbock. And I even look at moving more and more out, you know, I just want to be left alone and be be left to my own, you know, I don't want to listen to these people, I don't want to deal with it. Say I lived in LA, New York, San Francisco, anything like that, where all these people come out of the woodwork, it seems like, <laughs> if I had to have dealings with them, it'd be like, Ugh, blah. I don't want anything to do with these people. So, you know, I have fingers pointed at me and I'm the problem and all this kind of stuff. Meanwhile, yeah. While I'm going to work, you know, 40, 60, 80 hours a week while you sit there and collect a check and wait for your privilege. Really, I mean, it's just reversed, you know what I mean? The world's gone full retard. That's what I see. Kudos to this cop for keeping us cool. But tomorrow, if I was that cop, I would have a lateral transfer to some sheriff's department in a rural county out in the middle of the country somewhere and just disappear like oh you don't want me around anymore you i'm a threat oh you feel so threatened by me okay i'll disappear see how it goes the next time around when you're getting attacked and i don't show up some diversity hire shows up and you've already seen those videos too like there were two female cops there were two black female cops in detroit and there was a shooting and stuff and they straight boned out like you saw their cruiser the car that was doing the shooting they were sitting in an alleyway and they straight boned out and split they're like oh, we're not getting involved in this like people are getting killed and everything and the cops took off they weren't having but what would happen like this cop he would have straight been right there pulling his gun out and dealing with it you know what i mean it's like i lame anyway till next time like, share, subscribe. Selena and Jay, new content. So we're out, All right?